So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted a theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use, educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hey everybody, Martha here. So, this will be a review of uh, Marvel's What If Episode 3. So, this is basically what if basically most of the Avengers were killed. <laughs> so, what would happen then? I did not notice before this review, before I start talking about, I did not notice when I was watching those three movies, the second Iron Man movie, Thor. And um, the Incredible Hulk were all basically happening during the same exact week. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Coulson does leave during Iron Man 2 to go get to go check on to go find the hammer, but there's no education about the Incredible Hulk in any in, in any of the movies that that movie takes place the same exact week. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I wonder how many other movies um, to play the same exact week. Because a lot of, since a lot of us do ask, why is that when um, one of the superheroes are doing something by themselves, why doesn't um, the whole entire group come doing help them? That's because probably another movie's taking place at the same exact time period. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, this one. This episode, like I said, does take place during those three movies, and both versus start starts in um, the Iron Man two, right after um, Tony and um, uh, Brody have that fight, and he goes and tries to burn off his hangover by eating a bunch of donuts, and uh, Fury. Asks him, I'm not ask you to ask um, me the donut, basically. Um, and we do see like the scene pretty good, and like the, the details are pretty much there. Like we still see the little scars of um, Tony's right here. Like it takes pretty close in him up until Natasha puts the syringe inside of um, Tony and. He falls over and dies. Now, you could probably think the coffee would kill them, but nope, it was a syringe. And since she since she was um, a Russian agent before all this, she's the one that gets accused of this. And we know that though that she can escape from these guys, it doesn't matter if these are Hydra agents, because yes, one of them is Crossbones, so these are the... Pretty much the same as that guys who do end up attacking um, Steve in the elevator <laughs> of Hunter Soldier in a different universe, but not going to happen in this universe, probably. <laughs> so when she gets put inside and he hands her the syringe to find out what happened with the syringe, I was supposed to um, cure, uh, was supposed to give, um, it was supposed to like um, Tony live a little bit longer. Than he would have had, but said it killed him. Um, so she hand, he hands her the syringe, and she ends up beating up everybody in the back. <laughs> so yeah, these guys really I don't get how these guys. Do these guys know how to fight? She just knows how to fight better, apparently. And she's gone. And she goes to, and this is when we meet up with um, Coulson. Um, because this is when, during Thor, right when, um, Thor is come get, grab his hammer. And during that scene where he tries to grab the hammer, and Hawkeye is supposed to shoot the arrow at him, 
I'm not, not supposed to shoot the arrow, I'm just supposed to let him grab the hammer and see if it would work. The hammer, somehow the arrow goes off and hits and kills Thor, and since he's just a normal human being here, an arrow would kill him. So now we're two Avengers short. <laughs> um, and now we see that, so that's two movies down, basically. <laughs> and, um, Natasha goes to meet, um, Bet Betsy Ross, which, I tell you, Terry, I thought we never thought we'd see her again. Because she has not been in any movies since Incredible Hulk. So, yep. And this is when that movie is taking place. And so, instead of Edward Norton playing Hulk here, it's, yep, Mark Ruffalo. Because <laughs> that's who played him in Incredible Hulk, remember? So, and he's hiding off in the closet. And because we, we do see the, um, the little um, pizza place from Stan Lee's restaurant. That's your Stan Lee's um, cameo here, a restaurant named after him. Because <laughs> since that's what it was in the think in that movie. And he, she goes to go talk, to go to the closet where he's hiding. And she, um, he comes out and warns her that it's not the best way to force somebody about this. And basically um, Betsy does tell her the syringe is not the one that did this. Something exploded the syringe. Um, so she's not, so not, she really didn't answer the question. And so we have the scene where, uh, the Hulk, um, Hulk and Hulk's about to get attacked by General Ross. And instead of what happens in the movie where his smoke gets sm dropped in him, somebody shoots, somebody shoots at him and they think... General Ross did it, but he's saying our men did not do this. And the Hulk, um, the banner turns into the Hulk. And he attacks, he does attack Ross's men here, but not long afterwards, um, he explodes. Because something went inside of him that made him explode. So, yeah. And the same exact time this is going on, um, Loki comes down. And with the with the, most of the um, soldiers from Asgard and the the army of three, and so they accuse them of they want to know why is their prince Thor dead, and they want to fight. And we have a whole entire joke about the phone interrupting um, Loki's speech about this. <laughs> And Loki does give him a time limit to the next day um, for you to tell, find out who the killer is. And and also, yeah, um, also Hawkeye dies too. Why he's because he's the one why he's inside the cell. So we don't know how. So how many Avengers are we down now? We have four of the Avengers. And this is right around the time where Fury does figure out that only the Avengers I mean, initiative um, people are being the ones that are being targeted and killed. And so he has, so he figures somebody, somebody is after the, only those guys. And this is when Natasha is looking up computers and she's getting her password from Coulson. So she doesn't get caught um, logging in in her own her, on her own password. So what is Coulson's password? Ready, guys? Steve, Steve, Steve. Um, z um, zero seven, oh four. Yes, we know that. <laughs> we already knew that Coulson was a big fanboy of Captain America, but <laughs> wow, and I find it really funny that Captain America's birthday would be Independence Day. <laughs> they would do that! They would make 4th of July Steve um, would make Captain America's birthday. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, 
Because um, when you find out his birthday, because in the f first movie of Captain America, we saw him put the date down on when he was trying to um, come, a, when he was trying to apply to be a soldier. As he put Don's birthday, and that was his birthday on there. <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> so, um, while she's looking, she finds out that. She finds out that the one the peer the person who did this is this is all about hope. And if you don't remember, hope is um Hank Pym's daughter. Um so in this version of the world, um hope is part it works for Shield and so yeah. And this is when she's attacked. And she tries to get to her phone to tell Fury that it's all about hope. So, um, Fury goes to talk to, um, the, the, um, the Destroyer, I think it's called, the one, the robot that, um, that Thor fought in the first Thor movie. I don't remember what it's called. Go ahead and correct me, I don't care. Um, and ask to talk to Loki, and... This is when he goes talk to, and he also goes to the funeral. He goes to the graveyard where Hope's grave is, and Hank, dressed as the black, as um, the as as Yellow Jacket, not Ant Man, in this version. Um, talks to, and does accuse him of. Of getting mad about the fact that Hope's dead here, and the reason why she died here because she was the eight was um the person that went with Natasha to take down the um during that incident where um Bucky when he was the Winter Soldier attacked her and remember that entered and died in it in this universe that in turn was Hope so bro um Bucky killed Hope. And he blames Fury for this, and he thinks um, killing these um, other people who volunteer, who were going to volunteer to be protectors, basically killing them is saving is saving them. So, yep, he tries to do the same thing to Fury, but Fury keeps on stopping by punching him even when he goes small, and like. Going everywhere else and multiplying, and you basically during this fight, like, wait a second, that's not Fury, that's freaking Loki, the skies of him. <laughs> um, and he does the whole entire colony part where he goes laughing, just like he did in the first Thor movie when he's finding um, Thor. And he like stop it, and this is when uh, the real Fury comes out and like says, "Yeah, we really do care about Hope. We wasn't, we didn't mean for her to die." Um, and Loki's like, "Hi." Um, trickster god. <laughs> so yeah, and basically the episode ends with um, Loki taking um taking over the world because none of the none of the Avengers are here. So we this is when he does this is when um he goes to the um the U.S. Um, national, like um, you have U.S. national thing, and this does the, the speech he does from the first Avengers movie on national TV. So, Fury finds um, Captain America's shield, and so he's basically he's at the spot where he finds um, Captain America and ice, and we see Captain Marvel here, here because in the early episode we see him about to press the. The pager because she would be pretty much the last um, thing she he would be have to do. Um, pretty much the backup plan. <laughs> so, yep, it, that's all the episode ends like basically uh, at a cliffhanger. Like that's all the episodes have ended so far. This one I would say is not this is probably the worst one out of the three. So far, I would say the first, the second one's the best one so far, then the first and the and this one. I would because yes, there's a lot happening, but basically Pim's p 
plan does not make any sense to me. If he wants to kill Fury and kill Fury, he can perfectly do it without having to go through the Avengers to do it. Because how small he can get, he can just go inside of them. Like he did with Hulk and just go big. <laughs> like, and I, that, we did answer that question. What if um, Ant Man went inside of the. Um, uh, Thanos, basically the same thing that happened to Hulk there. So, this one was okay. It was not the best one so far. Every, there was a lot, the, the details were really good. And since we're doing basically three movies at once. And it was a little bit rushy, but that's because this episode was only like a little over half an hour. So, I did like, while well, we got to see the watch here in the background a couple of times. So... And I think the next episode is a Doctor Strange one. Well, we'll see how good that one is next week. So, this episode was okay. Like I said, I'm probably going to give it, um, uh, um, six. I'll probably give it a seven out of ten. I'll see you guys later. Like, uh, subscribe, and bye bye.